You moved back to Michigan at some point around something wild. 86, yeah. 86. A friend of mine in New York said, you never left. 10 years in New York, you always had one foot back in Michigan. It goes all the way back to this acting thing was thrust upon me. How, how do you mean thrust upon you? I was just good at it. I didn't want it. I didn't, I didn't, God, I want to be a star. I never had that. I was in a small town playing basketball on the basketball team and I had taken chorus, choir, and the choir teacher was doing the musical South Pacific and it's a small town and she needs guys. And I'm walking past the auditorium on audition night. I'm not auditioning. I'm on the basketball team. We just had a practice where all we did was run for three hours. I can't, Jeff, oh God. come here. Yes, Diane, I need you to audition. Okay, all right, get up on stage. There ain't nothing like a dame or whatever the song is. And I just start doing this dance. So I just do this thing, she's cracking up. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Great, you're in. You're gonna have two lines, you play radio operator Bob McCaffrey and you're in this musical. I knew at 16, 17 what to do in front of 700 people to make them laugh. Instinctually. Instinctually. And they said, you, you have to chase this. Then I went to Central Michigan, but auditioned for Marshall W. Mason, who came out from New York at a big deal off-Broadway theater company. I'm the last guy to audition because I just want to go to the Red Wing hockey game tonight and get drunk with my college buddies. And I get called back. Now it's a problem because we're all supposed to leave and we're already going to be at, you know. And a friend of mine from Central Michigan, who was three years older than me, and just like, the guru of the wardrobe department who decided who was a good actor at Central Michigan and who wasn't said, what are you doing? I'm going, yeah, I'm going to, tell you, I'm going to a hockey game. You were called back. <sighs> One of the directors is from New York. Are you a fucking idiot? It's a good game. It's good. You're going <laughs> to, you need to stay for the call back, okay? I don't care about your little hockey game. Jesus. I was the last one to audition. And he brought me and another girl up, and we did the summer and smoke scene, sitting this far away, none of this big performing, just he wanted to almost shoot it. And he goes, great, we're done, thank you. Cast me in summer and smoke. At the end of the summer and smoke rehearsal process, he took me out and he sat me down. He said, you know what you should do with your life, don't you? So you were called to act. Called and told. <laughs>